Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the beginning of a new hair growth myth video. So this week we're going to start by using 7 Days of the Shane Moisture to make a black castor oil strength in and restore hair serum. There's a lot, a lot of uh, controversial opinions on using Jamaica black castor oil to make your hair grow. Um, and I thought that I would give this a go. This is a specifically uh, like made to strengthen and restore hair. It's not as thick as your usual castor oil because it's actually like put in with a few other ingredients, but I was really excited it has um, to give it a go. So we're going to give this seven days to see how much my hair grows. Just for point of reference, for the last two weeks I measured my natural hair growth and I worked out that my hair grows nine millimeters, give or take just under a centimeter in two weeks. And we're going to work out how much my hair grows in one week using this on my scalp every day. Hi guys, welcome to day one of today's hair myth slash hair growth challenge. Um, so we're going to do this for the next week and see if we have any change in the overall length of my hair. Um, let me just brush this out. Trusty tape measure. So I'm going to measure my hair from where I normally measure it which is the right side about an inch back and we're going to use as I mentioned in one of my as I mentioned in the intro video we're going to use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore 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 Hair Serum it is a pretty well known uh, rumor that um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil is supposed to help your hair grow um, and so we're going to see if I use this every day for a week on my scalp to see if we can grow. So, sixteen point two inches. So, let's write that down. Okay, so my head generally grows, give or take, about eight to nine millimeters a week based on me sort of measuring um, eight to nine millimeters in a fortnight based on me measuring uh, two weeks ago. So we're going to see how much it grows in a week just using this and massaging my head. So let's apply it. Got this. It's got a little like applicator. So I'm just going to sort of plop little dots evenly around my scalp. I'm not even squeezing the bottle, I'm just sort of like plopping. This stuff is also amazing for your hair. So at the very end, if your hair is feeling particularly dry, you could also put a tiny bit sort of on the ends of your hair as well. I'm just going to massage this into my scalp lightly. As you can see, it doesn't make any difference to the overall greasiness of my scalp. This oil, despite the fact that it is castor oil based, it is actually quite light because it's mixed with um, like safflower so seed oil, castor oil, olive oil, fruit oil, macadamia, carrot, yeast, leaf, keratin, a whole bunch of different oils. So it's not just castor oil, but castor oil is obviously one of the key ingredients. But we're going to see if just using this on my scalp every day for a week sees some growth. So I might also put a drop or two in my hands and just run it through the ends. It is very lightweight. It has a really subtle smell. Um, if you've tried the Jamaica Castor Oil line from Shea Moisture before, it has the same smell as that. So, but yeah. So, that is where we're at. Um, I'm not going to make any other changes to my routine this week. It's going to literally just be my normal hair care routine, which I'll leave in the cards up here. Um, and this. So, let's... Um, Today is Monday 
And so you will see the results of this video on a Tuesday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Hi guys, welcome to day two of this week's castor oil and um, black Jamaica castor oil challenge. We're just going to repeat the steps that I did yesterday. Um, my hair has already been, I've actually showered already today because I did my workout earlier um, and I co-washed so. But to be honest, my hair felt a teeny tiny bit greasy this morning, but I have a feeling I might have used a little too much yesterday. Um, but otherwise, no real changes. So I'm going to use this, but I'm going to go with a different technique. I'm going to actually apply it to my hands and then massage it in with my fingertips as opposed to applying it directly to my scalp. So I figured that might be a way for me to maybe limit the amount that I use. I feel like I used a lot yesterday. So that is how much I am using. I really love the smell of the stuff. Like I said, if you've smelled the Shea Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil line that they have, like their shampoo, the conditioner, the deep conditioning mask, all that, um, then it basically smells like that. Um, it's really nice. It's a really sweet, nutty scent because I think it has um, like sunflower seed oil and like jojoba oil. Um, it's got, yeah, safflower oil, um, castor oil, shea butter, olive oil, macadamia oil, carrot seed oil, peppermint leaf extract, yeast extract, etc. etc. Um, but yeah. gonna massage what was in my hands onto my scalp for a minute or so nothing too exciting and then I'm gonna take what is left and just chuck it through the ends of my hair which are on the dry side because there's still a little bit of balayage left at the bottom from when I did my balayage quite some time ago now so then I'm just going to take a hairbrush and brush it through and that is day two's, and that is day two's application. I have a crying baby, I'm gonna go check on and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day Hi guys, welcome to day three of this week's castor oil hair. This my myth, there you go. Um, so I've literally just rinsed my hair out, no new products in it oh, and it'll work out so it's just got water I'm using a wet brush if you guys are wondering I'm just brushing out the tangles um, it is actually hair washing day for me tomorrow so today I'm going to put in um, this treatment and then I'm going to put in my usual deep conditioner to leave on overnight I do that once a week um, and so like I said I'm not changing my routine I'm just adding this to it to see if it makes any difference so as per usual, Shea Moisture, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Serum. We're going to do what we did yesterday. Apply some to my hand. A couple drops. You guys can see that. Massage it through. And massage it through my scalp. I have to say, I have noticed that my hair is falling out a little bit less since I've started doing this. And I almost feel like these side bits are filling in a little bit more. It's kind of hard to tell in a couple of days. My hair has been a little bit extra greasy, obviously, because of this. But I tend to just brush it out. And it's all good. Um, it's now been a week since I washed my hair today. Um, so just be wary of that. Like I said, depending on the week, I will wash it two, one to two times. This week is going to be a one-time wash. Um, so what I will do is tomorrow I will apply this, let it sit for a little while, and then wash my hair. Um, and then the next day I will apply it in the evening so I can at least have fairly clean hair for a day or so. But making sure what I'm doing on my hands is evenly distributed through my scalp. And whatever's left through my ends. Uh, I am going to go and apply my deep conditioning mask uh, to my hair like I do every week and I will see you guys tomorrow 
um, when I add this before I wash my hair. So, see you guys tomorrow for day four. Hi guys, welcome to day four of this week's castor oil hair challenge myth video. Um, as you guys can see, I have my hair in a braid, which I'm actually going to take down in a minute because um, I've just done a workout. I actually have a treatment in my hair, like a deep conditioning treatment in my hair that I do once a week. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll do another video on that so it looks disgusting. But I'm going to do my usual putting some of this in my hand, massaging it into my scalp, and then I'm actually going to... Um, wash my hair today. So, like I said, this much. And massage it in. It's been over a week since I've washed my hair, so I'm just feeling incredibly gross. And then on top of that, I've got, like I said, a treatment in it, which is not, uh, which is super oily and moisturizing, but it makes my hair feel really gross. So, but I left the treatment in overnight. I bought it in yesterday when my hair was damp, and I left it in overnight. And then I'm using this treatment, obviously, in my scalp. And then I will be washing my hair. So, that is day four. I'll be back tomorrow for day five, but not until probably the evening time because I plan on washing and styling my hair today. Um, so, I won't be back until tomorrow evening to do day five of this hair myth challenge. Or hair growth challenge, I should say. So, I will see you guys tomorrow um, for day five. Hi guys, welcome to day five. Um, well, technically this would be day six, but we're going to day five because I didn't come on yesterday and I didn't do this. If you're wondering why, it's not because I'm a sucky YouTuber. It is because my two-year-old has decided that cutting molars uh, means that sleep is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Optional? Yeah. He's decided that sleep is optional. So... We were up every hour last night and we were up a few hours every couple of hours the night before. So, honestly, this completely just slipped my mind yesterday. So, but we're here today. We're still going to do seven days. This will just go a day over. And we're going to continue on with what we've been doing. So, Shea Moisture, a few drops in my hand. And straight onto my scalp. Um, yeah. Does anyone else have teeth and toddlers? They're literally killing me. And then on top of the teething, once he finally settles for the night, which last night was about 3.30 in the morning, Lachlan... My three and a half year old decided that 4.45 would be his uh, wake up time for the day. So, between Isaac being up every hour from 11 o'clock, to be honest, was every hour from bedtime, um, to Rockland deciding that we want to be awake before the sky is. Um, I'm a little lacking in the sleep department. But, nevertheless, we are moisturized in. I am quite enjoying just applying it directly to my hands and then to my scalp. I find that it's saving the product um, a little bit better. I have used this much. Um, and I was using it a lot quicker when I was just dabbing it directly onto my scalp. That being said, when I did my hair treatment, when I washed my hair, I did directly add this to my scalp um, that morning before I washed my hair that day. So, 
um, for day to day use I'm just putting it in my hand and massaging it but for the day that I wash my hair I did apply it directly to my scalp because I thought adding it um, to my scalp before I washed it would be one make it a bit more potent and two be another protective barrier for washing my hair Gonna brush that through. This is where I'm at. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day six. And then finally for day seven and our final measuring result. Hi guys, welcome to day six of today, of this week's hair growth challenge. Um we're just gonna brush it out the ponytail I have my hair in. Um and we're going to apply the castor oil, uh, the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Serum to my hair as we have for the last six days. But yeah, so we're going to do a couple drops in my hand as per usual. Um, I think tomorrow I'll just summarize everything um, that I found this week. Um, but something I've definitely noticed is my hair's overall like softness seems to be really well um, I do think it's feeling a little bit sort of uh, more like a little bit thicker especially around these areas at the front here um, I don't know whether they're actually growing or whether it's just me imagining things I guess but we will, we will do a comparison tomorrow but it's really nice to I think, to be honest I'm going to just massage this into my head, like I said, um, and like I have been doing for the past six days. Um, but yeah, I really think there's been quite a bit of growth here. It was definitely not there, I don't think, before I started this challenge. So, whether my hair's actually grown in length, we'll find out tomorrow. But... I'm now going to put whatever's left at the ends of my hair and I'll brush it through in a minute. Um, but yeah, so that is the end of day six. I will, like I said, I will be back tomorrow for day seven slash finishing up this hair myths video. So I will see you tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome back to today. Uh, today is day seven in my hair growth challenge. Um, so we're going to apply the oil to my scalp and then we're going to measure and actually get some results. So I don't know if my hair's actually grown this week. Um, wouldn't really be able to tell you yet, obviously. Um, but it does feel really nice, which is really nice. You can see that it's quite um, easy to brush. It's not tangly, it feels super soft <clears throat> compared to a few weeks back when I did the coconut oil one and I was applying coconut oil to my scalp every day. Um, this has not given me any of those uh, effects. I've not had the great fallout. Um, like my brush hasn't had a lot of fallout. I've not had any of the insane amount of itchiness that I got last time or anything like that. Um, the only thing I did get is the fact that obviously it's day six in my hair washing cycle, so my hair will be washed today. Um, so my hair is starting to get a bit gross, but that's also what happens when you apply oil to your scalp every day. Um, so yeah, just gonna brush my hair through. So you guys can probably see that my hair is a little greasy, but it is also really shiny. It's really soft. It's feeling really nice. Um, no tangles. Um, I don't know if you guys can even see. We'll find out, I guess, to see if it's grown at all. Um, with that being said, I probably should part it where I normally would, not in some random place. So we're going to apply this to my scalp, like I said. Uh, a couple drops here. I'm actually going to apply probably a little bit extra, um, because I'm going to wash my hair today. So I'll probably apply this, and then I'm probably going to go and apply a mask to my hair, because I like to have some sort of mask in my hair the day that I wash it. Um, this week will probably be a two wash week cycle so we will do that um <clears throat> but like i said just apply this to my scalp give it a really good massage 
um, and that is that. Um, I think next week's hair myths video, I found a few recipes that are supposed to be like overnight growth. Um, so I might try one of those next week. So it's not going to be an everyday sort of thing, it's going to be sort of over two days. But I've seen quite a few very similar recipes that people sort of stand by that their hair will grow like a few inches overnight. So it would be really interesting to see if any of those are true. That will probably be next week's video. So click subscribe and here um, if you want to check that out next week to see if we really can grow one to two inches overnight. Alright, besides sticky fingers. Now, brushing it through, like I said, this oil um, itself is actually really affordable. I ordered mine from Oz Hair and Beauty. I'll leave that link down below because you can't buy this one in stores here in Australia. You can buy the shampoo and conditioner that matches this in stores, but for some reason you can't buy this specific product. Um, if you were looking to buy the shampoo and conditioner, they also stock that on Oz Hair and Beauty, but they also sell it at Priceline um, if you're Australian. Um, I don't think anywhere else. Maybe Target. Don't hold me to that. So that is that. So that is a week of putting oil in my hair. And like I said, I washed my hair six days ago. So it's like pretty much six days of oil. But I have my tape measure and we're going to measure. So let's see. We started out, I think, at 16 point. Let's see if I've got my little notebook here. Just under 16.2 inches, which on here is there. So let's see. Um, I always measure from the same spot, so I go right side, give or take an inch back, and I just grab a good chunk of hair and sort of measure like that. Seems to work well for me. It seems to be fairly consistent for the most part. Um, and so that's what I go with. And we're going to pull it pretty much until the last hair length. Alright. We are at 16 and a half inches. So, smack on 16 and a half. So I'd say my hair grew. So this week we have, right, we've worked out that last fortnight we worked out that my hair grew about 9 millimeters in two weeks. My hair grew 10 millimeters in one week. Give or take. We worked out that my hair grew pretty much a centimetre. Give or take. So yeah, my hair grew one centimetre this week. Which is pretty exciting considering my hair on average seems to grow about just under a centimetre in two weeks as my average hair growth. So clearly all of the rumours about Jamaica black castor oil uh, true. So, yeah. Give this a go if you're interested. Um, it's really affordable. It's really nice. Um, it didn't irritate my scalp, but it made my hair feel really healthy. And clearly it made it grow based on my measurements for this week. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want to see my next hair growth myth video. And I'll see you guys uh, on Sunday for my next video. Bye.